The festive season is of course the moment to embrace the world of exotic cocktails and an absolute classic is the snowball. Super simple to make. Uh, a little measure of avocado into the glass, which I'm going to add some ice to. That's going to give some lovely sweetness and texture. Top it up with some good quality lemonade. Give it a quick stir and then for a modern twist, just to heighten it, give it a little contrast with the sweetness. Uh, you just add a little squirt of lime. Glorious. There you have it. A modern twist on the snowball. <laughs> That's beautiful. Genuinely lovely. Ollie is fantastic. He's got the exuberance of life and the knowledge of a master sommelier. Now this week, my theme is about the health benefits of wine because I'm running the London Marathon. It may sound like lunacy, but the first thing I wanted to know was, are there any health benefits to drinking a glass or two of red wine? Well, it turns out there are. Oh, yes, yeah, you've lost weight. I know, look at this. What do you think? What's happened to you? I've slenderized. I've slenderized a little bit. I decided the time had come. I had to lose a bit of weight, but I did not skimp on the booze. I passionately believe you can still enjoy your glass of wine, your beer, your whiskey, whatever it might be, and still lose a few pounds. Basically, if you choose a wine from a warm place that gives you all those rich flavours, yes. it's going to have a high level of alcohol and also quite a lot of fruity sugars in it. So you've just got to watch out a wee bit for that. I was in and out of this building every day of my life and it's such a, a privilege to have you know, been here, been part of the history of this amazing building. I certainly had the most incredible time and it, it changed my whole life, there's no question about it. You know, the incredible self-discipline and the incredible kind of uh, exposure you get to, to music, you know, when you think of all the range of different things we would sing, right from Britain's Rejoice in the Lamb to the old psalm chants, an extraordinary, uh, extraordinary education. With Galton's succulent salmon, I'm after a white wine to flow alongside the fish and also canoodle with the creamy scrambled eggs. Now a classic pairing would be fizz, such as this good value carver. But it's Christmas and I'm going to spend a few extra pennies. With the thickness of the cut and the char grilling of the salmon, a wine with more richness is required to really tickle my Christmas tree. So I'm selecting the sensational Domaine Thomas Santo Ban Premier Cru. Ding dong, merrily on high. Detonation beguiling. It's the kind of thing, fragrant, you could dab it behind your ears. Best in show, mystical. Oh, it's as bristly as Brian Blessed's beard. Cheers!